So I got this great idea for a movie, okay? So, so this is what it is. America sucks, all right? America just fucking sucks, all right? It's just, it's going down the shit. It's going down fast. So I got this idea that these, like, uh, these forefathers, these new forefathers, right? They uh, created the system where one day a week for about 12 hours you could do anything you want, all right? You could just murder somebody, you could rape somebody, you could fuck a lot of shit up, all right? And that's what's going to be cool. That's the idea, okay? We're going to... Build a story off this idea. It's gonna be fantastic. We can make like an action suspense thriller. We can make anything. This is a really good idea. I like this idea. Let's make it a home invasion movie. <laughs> What is happening, movie buffs, film lovers, and everybody else? I am David the Film Junkie, and I'm bringing you a film review. The Purge stars Ethan Hawke and Lena Headey, and uh, it was written and directed by James DeMarco, who's done random other stuff. Salt on uh, Precinct 13, Jack. Remember that movie with Robin Williams? Well, anyways, he brings us The Purge, and The Purge is basically what America has gotten really crappy. Very true in real life, but it's gotten so crappy, you know, with crime, with um, unemployment and poverty that and basically what happened here is uh, these newly um, named forefathers they came up with the idea called the purge where one night a year for 12 hours you're able to go batshit fucking crazy you can murder somebody you can rape somebody you can cause destruction and mayhem do whatever the hell you want because we all know that humans are a very violent species and Sometimes we don't lash out because obviously it's against the law. So one night a week, or a week, one night a year, we can lash out. We can all that rage that's bottled up like the Hulk. We can just let it loose. So the movie centers around this happy-go-lucky family. You got the the, um, the young-looking parents, uh, so obviously um, Ethan Hawke and uh, Lena Headey, and um, they got the 18-year-old daughter, the <clears throat> the cliche 18-year-old daughter, which was. I noticed right away she was all like, oh my god, I don't want to talk about my day, this is stupid. It's like, dude, you're already going that cliche? Sweet. Then you got the younger kid who is actually really smart. Um, he knows his gadgets, he knows his little toys. Um, he's got like a heart condition as well, so he has to take medication. So he's, But he's actually a relatively smart kid. So then this relatively smart kid, um, you know, once the purge has started, they've gone on lockdown. They've just ba barricaded themselves in their houses because they don't want, they're not going to be one of these people that lash out and purge is what they call it. They're not going to purge. They're going to stay within their fortress, basically, that Ethan Hawke's character is actually the man who, um, he, for his company, he actually sells these security systems. So he's he sold them to like his neighbors and he's done a really good job for himself. So anyways, they're in lockdown and then when it's happening, there's a guy outside screaming for life, you know, for someone to let him in. He's just, you know, he's being chased. And the kid, being the smart kid he is, lets him inside. Then of course, these crazies with freaking masks and uh, machetes and guns show up at their door and they want the guy. What did I think about this movie? Fucking retarded. Oh my, oh my god. I mean, it just, it pains me. Like, it really pains me because I like Ethan Hawke. And I was really hoping for this movie because this was such, it, the, the, the idea of The Purge is a very good idea. And they could have done so much better than this. Like I, like I was doing in the beginning of the video. It was like somebody pitched the idea about the actual Purge themselves. And it's like they had so many directions they could have taken, so many roads, so many tangents they could have, based this story off of, and they decided to do a fucking home invasion slasher fic, flick. Ah! It was almost like The Purge was not even relevant. It was just a home invasion movie. We've had plenty of those, and it had all the cliches of a home invasion movie. It was just like, what the fuck? They could have taken the story and been like, all right, The Purge, instead of having the annual purge, they could have the very first purge in this movie. And then all of a sudden people were like, wow, I'm gonna try this purge thing. And they could have had different groups of people, and you could have saw like these different types of people going out and causing mayhem in like a city. Not a fucking suburban, rich suburban area neighborhood house invasion, what? Oh, so terrible. And the kid who's supposed to be really smart just lets the guy in, and because he feels bad, he feels bad that the guy is like about to get killed. And then these people, <laughs> these, these, Crazy people with the mask and machetes and guns are outside. They can actually see him and they said, hey, if you don't let him out, we're gonna come in. We can bust through your fortress. And even Ethan Hawke's character goes, oh yeah, they could get in if they wanted to. Well, fuck. But yet the kid just like, don't do it, dad. And we can't do it. We can't let him out. And then it was like a role reversal. It was, 
Oh, it was it was ridiculous. It, it, people's opinions about the whole thing kept changing throughout this story, which was like, wait, now the guy wants to go outside and the people don't. What the fuck? Even the whole purse thing doesn't really make sense. And I thought about this before I saw the movie. It was like, really, like, if people are this fucked up, like your neighbor is like fucked up, where he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kill somebody. How would you feel about your neighbor if you knew that he went this one night and said, yeah, I just, I'm gonna go fucking kill somebody? How would you feel about him after the purge is over? Would you go back going, hey, Bob, <laughs> how'd that killing go? Did it go good? Sweet, glad to hear it. You feel better now? How oh, oh, fantastic. Didn't make much sense. It would make more sense if it was like maybe once a month or even once every six months or once every other month. It would have made more sense, but just 12 hours a day. What about 100, the other 364 and a half days? Yeah, everybody's just fine. So that didn't really make sense. And one thing that really did not make sense, this is what the house looks like. Hopefully I can find a picture. If there's no picture right here, then guess what? I couldn't find the picture of their house. This is what their house looks like, but it might as well have been a fucking hotel. And it probably would have been better if it was a hotel that this took place in. Cause they get split up, they can't find each other, and they're walking around with a flashlight and a gun, and Ethan Hawke is like shooting people and freaking wrestling around with people, but yet nobody else in the house can hear it. And they're trying to find their kids, and they don't just like yell out for them, that hey, we're in our room kids, come in here. No, they're like, oh, I gotta go find your sister. It's like, this house is not that fucking big. But yet there was one time where she screamed out for both her kids and they came running. I was like, what? They could have did so much better. And uh, Reese Wakefield, who plays like the crazy leader of this group, he actually does a good job. Actually, they all do a good job. The performances, there's nothing nothing bad with the performances at all. Ethan Hawke and uh, Lena Headey, they do a fantastic job with what they have, but the story is just sucks. And like I said, Reese Wakefield, who plays like the main bad guy, he actually does a very good job, and they could have did so much more with this character, but guess what? The movie is an hour and 25 minutes. You don't have time to do shit. As for the suspense, not really that great either. There was a couple times you were like, well, Okay, but then that's about it. Other than that, it's the cliches. It's all predictable. You knew what was gonna happen. And you know, you just, you, you're supposed to feel sorry for this kid who has a heart condition, who, who feels sympathy for this one guy, but you actually leave the movie fucking hating this kid. You wanted him to die. Sorry, yeah, he doesn't die in the movie. I'm, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of you realize that the kid is not gonna die in the movie. The Purge is probably the worst movie I've seen this year. Uh, I, I don't recommend seeing it. I mean, uh, maybe a good date movie, but I think you'll be very disappointed. It's one of those movies that maybe if you catch it on TV, watch a little bit of it, then change the channel. I'm serious. So many directions they could have taken this great idea. I mean, they could have even done it first person shooter style. Like, because at first they show, in the opening credits, they show like a bunch of like, you know, CCTV cameras showing like people getting messed up. They could have like done something with that too. That kind of idea, they could have went with that, but no. Home invasion movie, cliched, stupid, just. I mean, I, I, I seriously think that when they, when they pitched, when this guy pitched the idea of, you know, the whole thing and all of a sudden he goes, they, they looked at the script and said, okay, hey, this is good, this is good, but you know what, 90% of the logic <laughs> needs to get thrown out. <laughs> because that's what it is. There's like no logic in this fucking movie, hardly whatsoever. You're just like, why can't these movies... You just wonder, like, why can't these movies just, you know, who's the writers, who's the directors? Why can't they just come up with fresh stuff or just be a little more plausible, you know? Ugh, it's just, yes, I just, I'm very disappointed in the movie, you know, because it is a good idea. The performances are great, but the story is terrible. The suspense is not that great. It's a short movie. It's just like, wow, wow, did I just get laid right now? My ass hurts. Go check it out if you want, but I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it at all. I didn't like it whatsoever. So uh, anyways, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David, the Film Junkie, and this has been a film review of The Page. My God in heaven. Can we just forget about it and somebody else do a better movie? I mean, I could do, I could have done a better movie in like 20 minutes. A 20 minute movie better than this. <sighs> Anyways, talk to you guys later.